They're pretty good. With the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's here. Yeah. EJ! <sighs> So sorry about that. It, it happens sometimes. Hmm. He's jumpy, little guy. You gonna be okay? He can't go around punching people in the. I don't want to expect him to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. The same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But... but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here. With the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. that you're good at that you like that huh little dude you want to see something cool I want to see <laughs> pretty rad huh that's how you fuck up some monsters swear uh, I'm sorry Hey guys. Gwen, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back to safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. 
Let's talk to someone else. There's that girl up it. Yeah, want to talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... You just gotta start with the joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh, okay. Yes? Knock, knock. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven, you little weirdo. I did it! You sure did. Hey guys. What is this? Our graveyard. Can you guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Him. Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlon. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Be careful, he bites. <laughs> Don't worry about Ruby. From what I hear, it was self-defense. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Thanks. Wow, can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on! Uh. Hey, slow it up, AJ. You're gonna choke. Just because everything else died doesn't mean manners did. I'll say good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. Are you sure? You bet. 
I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet! It's time! What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Sounds fun. How do we play? It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait. What about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <laughs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw so Walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ah, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same way too. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. You guys meet anyone famous out there? No. Too bad. You'd figure a movie star or something would show up somewhere. They had like millions of dollars. They're probably living in a bunker with butlers and waterbeds out the ass. Yeah, maybe. I met a guy who used to be a baseball player. Like, for money. That's cool. I used to love baseball. Was he good at it? Don't know. We never got to play. He was good with a bat, though. Baseball sucks. You suck. Not as much as baseball. Victory Violet. 
Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey! She wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That... sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah. Worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah. It's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Good night. Night, AJ. Hey. Long day, huh? Yep. Real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Just so relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. We could hide in there, if a monster came. <laughs> Don't think we'll have to. Oh, well, in case we do. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... 
Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Oh, well, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro-town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly, like, a people person, you know? I know I sometimes have a habit. Have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Um, oh, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool, too, out there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? Nobody's gonna come in. Trust me. That girl just came in. If I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. AJ. Listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Tinsu. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. 
Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No, they were brave, strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay, that's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Ugh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. What'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow, they've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Stay back. I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie, shh. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was... Pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog, back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. Well, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. The greenhouse? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing, but it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. 
That's the only road that leads in and out of Ericsson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. I got a shack for storage right here, right along the river. It's secure mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. See these red lights? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> we can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've already lost so much. Friends, siblings, I, I can't let another kid die. I get it. I know how it feels to lose a friend. Yeah? Well, multiply that by 30 and you'll know how I feel. <gasps> what? Ha. Huh. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come off like a dick. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well... Sim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Let's go do some hunting. Yeah. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. <laughs>